Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me, he shall never die. Job said, I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Whom I shall see for myself, but my eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? This morning we have assembled ourselves here to pay our last respect to Jaheim Godfrey, a son, a brother, a friend. It is very sad to know that a mother, a father, would have to put away a young promising child. But God knows everything best. And so as we assemble here to celebrate his life and to encourage the family, help them to understand that this weeping may go for a night. The joy comes within the night. Let us therefore look to God Almighty that in this time of bereavement he bring comfort to those that are in need. I also want to acknowledge the presence of Pastor Global Robinson here with us today. And I am supposing that Pastor Godfrey as well. We are here with us and we just want to acknowledge your presence. And you can feel free to join me up here if you wish. Amen. Amen. We are going to be following the program as printed. And so let us do this. Honoring God Almighty. Word of God said, whatever we say or do, let's do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are all for a late start, and so bear in mind that we are in the month of October. We are in the month of October, and we know it's a rainy season. So let us use wisdom. Amen.
of who you are. This morning, Lord God, here we are in a Thanksgiving service, God, for the life of Jayim. Mighty God of Daniel, this morning I ask God that as we leave this service today, we we'll follow you. Father in heaven, Lord God, remember the family members one morning this morning. But Lord God, you said weeping may endure for a night, but joy for it in the morning. Father in heaven, Lord God, I ask that you comfort them this time, mighty God. Father in heaven, I ask that you cover them, mighty God. Lord God, you know all about their struggles. You promise to be with them till the day is gone. Because there's not a friend they have but you. You are a friend in need and a friend in need. So, Lord God, we thank you this morning. And God, we ask your blessing upon this service. As we wait upon you and we tell the fans. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue by the doing the opening hymn and that's precious memories, unseen angels. Send from somewhere to my soul, how they deserve ever near me and the sacred past before. Turn to the inner section of your program. We're going to be doing it. Let us all stand, please.
this time we'll be listening to the first lesson from Psalms 30, verses 1 to 5, 4 to 5, sorry. And this will be made by Cassandra Godfrey, the aunt. Cassandra?
1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 58, and this will be read by Janita Davis, a family friend. Worship the Lord. Come on, just lift those hands and give God some praise. Indeed, He's a God that should be glorified, a God that should be praised. We're on top of our grave. We're here this afternoon to celebrate the life of a young soul. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, let's worship the King of Kings and the Lord.
be having some tributes. And the tributes are from Dr. Michael Godfrey, Rihanna and Company friends, Wayne Wright, family friend. Will you come in this order, please?
Pastor. Sir, a young people are drop dead like a fly. No? And it is sad to know that we are losing the young ones like that. But you can't walk that down scripture. They praise people. So could have been still a boat, so could have spread like a frog. They have nothing to do with me. He ain't dancing in no sky. And will not be singing your heaven choir. The scripture says, when heaven be utterance, and mass are going back up, the cherubims and the seraphims met him at heaven poor man. And the angels cry out, lift up your head. angels know what they got. That's what the son said. I still wasn't listening. <laughs> I can't tell you. He said, I hope the angels know what they got because things have to be different in heaven since they did arrive. Right. Oh, can we mislead people like that? Yeah. Come on, talk to me. That's why right. right. I don't know how drunk up and say, amen in that church. We don't even hear one thing.
we get ready for oh, work, I have with me up here in this celebration Pastor Clover Robinson. I have Pastor Wolfman here. And I was going to take at least five minutes. But now my minutes will be shared among the ministers. And so we're going to be inviting. Pastor Robinson to come and you can take your portion out of it and then Pastor Rutland is going to take his portion and whatever little bit you guys left, I'll take that. Alright, Pastor Robinson. And the officers of the church. I want to say this afternoon, praise God, that many times we wonder what next? What next? But as the choir just sung, what a day that will be. Every one of us that is sitting here today are standing. There's going to be a day for us.
the vine and he are the branches. If you abide in me, and, and so we understand, yeah, you can walk as you love, you can talk as you love, but you cannot go to heaven as you love. And you see, every man will have been given a call to God for his sins. Just like JPS. I know some people today we're going solo. So when we, we don't have to be connected to JPS is great, but can I tell you, based on how things are now, anytime JPS cut out their light, you're not alive. Whether your TV or your connect stream. Can I talk to somebody? If you're not connected to God, you are going to a Christless head. But the Bible says in the book of Romans that while we were yet sinners, Christ killed and he died. He died that every man. That's why the Bible says if you have Christ, you have life. But if you have not Christ, you have not life. It is appointed unto a man once to die. But after death, there will be judgment. That's why God declares we must see all of us are fear and I love the Dominican saying every cover that will sit down on your own bottom. You can walk as you like, you can talk as you like, but you cannot go to heaven. Ah, every man must understand that there is a life that we have to live with past this year, but once. I love the song that says I'm only a pilgrim and a stranger. It is friendly word that I wrote but this to it is for Jesus who has brought me from darkness and promised me a heavenly woman he says in my father's house there are many mansions he said I've gone away to prepare a place that where I am you may be there also can I tell you he takes a connection with Jesus that's why every man must Understand, you must be baptized, you must repent. For he that is baptized shall come on, somebody. Life is sharp. I was saying to Pastor, so I was sitting there with very young people. And when I read that very much old, the folks. And everyone of them does not let them to lead them. Yes. And I have to say, no, no, always we preach where God wants me to preach. Can I talk to somebody? Yes. But man must understand uh, there is a hell to shut up and a heaven. Yes. Come unto me, all oh, they that labor and the heavy theater. That's why John declared revelation. And I saw. Everything in that thing has an expiry date. 
Because of sin, man have an expiry deal. Come on, somebody. The only thing is so we don't want when I feel it done. That's why we must be pure ourselves and be connected to God. When we are connected, it means we have a relationship with God. You see, if you don't have a relationship, you can do all the things that you want to do. But remember, on the day of judgment, the Bible said, Behold, I come quickly and my reward. Church. I'm going to wait till that time they come and say, Lord, have mercy on God too. 
Hey. That's right. Huh? It is high time that we accept the truth. In spite of we are going through what we are going through. As I said to the church sometimes um, this week, that not everybody has the same level of fear. Right? Because some stuff that you can endure and can endure it. You understand that? But what we must understand that in spite of you going through that, you have to live like that. You must accept the truth and the preacher must preach the truth. Call us fear, us fear. You understand? But you have some people that say, what do you say? No, hype up. I tap, tap, me, I tap, tap, you know, every. You have some young people that say, hype up. Hype up. And when it comes to funeral, in, in order to turn him to Christ, I reflect him on Christ, you know, it's all about the moment. It's all about the moment. And the church is simply saying that without Christ, we are nothing. It doesn't matter what you achieve in life. You understand? We, I don't know about nothing. I'm a struggler. I'm a struggling person. I struggle, but may I try to hang on? You understand? We can't make you, 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 you. We can't make you tap me. We can't make face. Uh uh. Can't to Jeremiah and say, look them in the face. <laughs> and he said, like a what? All right. But look them in the face. And praise God anyhow. Preachers, everybody get up and say good things about you. See, take what you want. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I go cut the eye. What? That's why if my wife, if my wife them they tangible. So I am more than the burning. But the eye will give you something. What is that you have to learn to know God for yourself? You have to learn to have a personal relationship with God. Understand? Because in spite of that, it doesn't matter how righteous a man is. You know, Paul said, Paul said in his word, he called Timothy, my son. Then I went to a church and I preached again. And said, Paul, did have a son we never know. You understand? It was Timothy. And he said, you're a liar. You understand? Paul didn't even have a woman who was with her. Paul said, Come we serve woman and serve God. Talk to me, somebody. Yes. In scripture. He said, I've become a slave to the gospel. Yes. And when woman called, you're supposed to deal with woman. And when God called, you're supposed to reign with God. Yes. So what Paul said, I have given my life totally over to God Almighty so we can serve woman and serve God. Talk to me. Yes. So when it's appointed time, come, you call Timothy. Say, bring me pen and paper. Because I'm going to write some letters to them people that can live by. They have to bring you up to stand up to the kind of people that you're going to live among. Say, come. My appointed time is at hand. I have fought a good fight. Finish the course. But I've kept the faith. I kept the faith. They have been through it all, but he's still hanging on. Shipwreck and in a jump up. He says, stay on board if you want to see it, stay on board. The going gets rough sometimes. The hills become hard to climb. Stay on board. Whatever you're going through, stay on board. It's not going to be easy, but stay on board. They're going to be gain sale, stay on board. They're going to be suit sale, stay on board. But I, I, I thank you today, preachers. Thank you today. Repent. Say, so if you're going to go high away, Pastor Rabbit's not so repent. Yes. And if you get past me as I go to assembly, same thing I go here. So tough luck for you. If you want to find one place where you go, you know, you know, repent. Yeah? In my closing, and I'm going to say this. In my closing, I'm just going to say this. There was a funeral one time, many years ago, in Brockton Assembly. And the pastor Porter was preaching. And that man made a comment. I 
and a lady sat beside me and she cussed all through the funeral and cussed and he described the man who in black and ugly and right beside me they couldn't take me heed and I said to her he said lick your heart I turned to her and I, I, I couldn't help it. I said to her, Mr. King, lick you heart. Lick who? He said, you. Because if he had not hit you that hard, you could not cause him so. It was two years after the exact thing that the man was preaching about. The woman was and she thought the man knew and when I found that all clear I went to her two years after and I said pour that tea with your kids but he never knew the spirit of God is evident in the place He's a silent listener to every conversation. And the Spirit of God is also a news carrier. You better know that. You better know that. Because everything the Philistine whisper in their camp. The Israelite here in my Then they thought to worry among themselves that there's a traitor in the camp. And somebody said, No traitor, no that. They have the Spirit of God with them. And if the Spirit of God is with them, it's going to protect them. Just a week ago, we closed convention here. The word of God. Isaiah 41 10. Fear not. Amen. God is with me. I have no fear. You could have chat till your tongue drop off. You could have huff. You could have puff. You could have been a big bad wolf. You could have bull buck. I don't pick up for one night now, and I promise that I lay down for God Almighty because He'll give me any time you're ready to take you back. Amen. Because bless you today. Yes. Repent. Yes. We young people in this, I drop there. You know how much Father is speaking we have out there? Yes. Father did God. And we just look at it at nothing. We just take it simple. The word of God. So when you see all these things, look up. Redemption dry now. We are saddened today by his passing. We are saddened today by his passing. But who we are going to blame? Who we are going to cause? Huh? It is now left in the hands of God. My brothers and sisters, check for yourself. Before you wreck yourself. The old saying that every tongue must stand on the wood buckle. You can't take me that man's hand sugar. Every knee shall bow. Jesus Christ. Is the Lord. Yes. To the family members, Lisa, the mother, the father, brothers, we just want to encourage you to hold on. Keep the faith and trust God to comfort you in this your time of bereavement. Amen. I'm going to be inviting back Pastor Robinson to come. And she's going to be doing the 
the prayer on behalf of the family. Somebody said eulogy? Yes. Eulogy will come after, man. I hear people are here as soon as they hear. Everybody out here don't get this And then I go get to it. Why we wait until we finish it? So we stay. As soon as they sit down, that's the most quiet time in the national service. Everybody want to hear what you go. And as they hear so, everybody got to know. They're not going to be with me until they wake up. Amen. 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 For you, I am a brave possible. Oh. 
I pray, God, that you will give them people strength and you will surround them with your love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. will be listening attentively to the eulogy and this will be read by Angela. This is what the aunt
as always. He completed his morning routine. His father left for work.
with your programs just lend us your voices a little bit turn to the inner box section of your program there's a hymn there sing the one just love of jesus sing his mercies and his grace in his mansion bright and blessed he'll prepare for us a place we'll do the first and the last answer Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace in the mansions bright and blessed. He'll bring when we all get to heaven. What a day! When we all Man that is born of a woman had but a short time to live. He cometh up and is cut down. He fled as it were a shadow and never continueth in one state. In the midst of life we are in death. Of whom may we seek for comfort? But of thee, O Lord, for our sins are just in this Yet, O Lord God most holy, O God most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it has pleases our mighty God, in his wise providence, to take out of this world the soul of our dear depart, we therefore commit his body to the They're ground, good. earth to earth, ash to ash, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection of the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, a two second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him 
shall be made change and like unto his own glorious body. According to the mighty working whereby he's able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who died in the Lord. Even so set the spirit for they rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Let us all pray together the Lord's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil for thine is the kingdom the power forever and ever one hot beer the workmen get one hot beer caracol workmen somebody move to it man fly 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 go on and work now Yo, no, 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 Miguel, how's your name? Yeah, good man. Good man. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his holy and seemly great God. Yeah, right. yeah, right. The only wise God who has saved the be dominion and power, might and majesty, both now and forevermore. The Lord be with you. Amen. Thank you. 
Where's one the pastor?